racing pen here at Wiltonville for round eight of the Wiltonville Car Club Championships 2019. And away they go then in Hot the Cadet. Very good start from pole position for Jay Lawrence there in the number 24 as they all file into turn one. Eight minutes plus one lap as ever in these heat races. And who will get the whole shot on the run up to Christmas Caller? Oh, as there's contact in the middle of the field already, and it's the number 76 who's gone round. The number 56 is in trouble as well, and the 95. So the 56 and the 95. Well, the 95 is Leo Billingham Ross who started towards the back of the grid. The 56 of Hayden Clark. That's a big one. So Hayden Clark, not a good start to his day here in round eight of the championship. Uh, we'll try and get a replay of that to see what happened. It was all in the midfield, but I think the e-plate holder. Uh, of Mitchell Gibbons has got the lead. Yes, he has off the start. So let's have a see. Oh, yeah, it just gets tipped around there. Number 76 makes contact with the 74. Uh, and then the drivers behind the 74 of Josh Cap. Uh, yellow flags out at Marshall Post 8. Let the drivers know that there is an incident out there. Just in the replay of there is the number 56 of Hayden Clark. Looks like, unfortunately, he's out of the race. There goes, uh, I think that was Oscar Chewton going up the inside. Yes, it was, having a battle there for third place with Jane Lawrence. But Mitchell Gibbons here, first time we've seen him in Baltimore Park for match in a few months. He was dominant in the early part of the season, leading here, but under a lot of pressure from Jaden Gregg there in second place. There's the number 23 of Ethan Simmons, the YRDA driver, having a little look at the inside. I think that was of uh, Ewan Charman. Fifth place. Back with the leaders. Looks like Oscar Tuton has taken the lead here towards the end of lap two. Over start finish then. So it is Tuton from Jaden Gregg. Mitchell Gibbons now down to third. Ewan Charman and Ethan Simpson to fourth and fifth respectively with Jaden Lawrence dropping down two positions to sixth. Going very quickly at the moment. Henry Jocelyn, ninth place, 54.87 for him early on. Who's being done there? I think that was Ethan Simmons going down the inside of Mitchell Gibbons, who's the number 23. Five and a half minutes of this one to go. Remember, once the time allocation tips over to zero, here's the 34 coming through. Jaden Gregg has retaken the lead. Back into the lead, first time we've seen it today. He's been up towards the front of the field throughout the season. It's just a great start once again in the Honda Cadets. Jaden Gregg leads at the end of lap three ahead of Mitchell Gibbons now. Now Oscar Tewton slipped down a couple of positions from more than that to fourth place. And here comes Ethan Simmons on the inside of Gibbons. And Simmons gets the move done into Christmas Corner. So positions changing all the time. Simmons now up to second place, of course. Momentum of being part of Honda Cadet Racing. These cars don't have that much power. We'll see drivers trying to work together to break the gap in two to three. Not, that is not the case in this one so far. Ethan Simmons goes into the lead then. Big dive into the boot corner. Can he hold on to it? Jaden Gregg will try and fight back. Oh, there's almost a little bit of contact there. Jaden Gregg does fight back and retakes the lead then. Holds on to it for lap four. This is great stuff here in Honda. There's also some moves further down the field. Henry Jocelyn up to seventh place now has just displaced uh, Jacob Gilman. Spencer Brockham on the move as well as here comes Mitchell Gibbons once more. Mitchell Gibbons to the inside and retakes the lead with four minutes to go. How many lead changes are we going to see in this one? Oh, and trouble there for the number 70. Uh, just coming over start finish, that's one of our novices. It's Riley Wright who started at the back of the grid and unfortunately the problem there for Riley. And uh, he's retired from this race, he's perfectly fine. Uh, I think it's some kind of mechanical issue with the car. There's the number 62 going down the inside. It was Henry Jocelyn making the move there. He's had a, a good race. He's already up to seventh place. But now like sixth place. Now back to the lead. Three and a half minutes to go here in the first week of the race. At Wilson, there's the Fourth place. 
No, Simmons is going to have a go and try and retake the lead down into Ashby Corner. Very tricky downhill. Right hand hairpin. Did he manage to get the movement? I think he did, yes. So Simmons now to the lead of this one. Just under three minutes plus one lap to go. And you've got to think that it's still, what, any of the top of five. You can win this. Jay Lawrence is next to this as well. Sim uh, Kippens again down the inside into the hairpin and he retakes the lead away from Ethan Simmons. Ethan Simmons is going to try and get it back. Brilliant move there from Ethan Simmons on the first of these double left handers. Gibbons is now going to go back up the inside. He retakes the lead. <laughs> oh, Honda Cadet, you never ever fail to impress me as this also battle is going on for third place. It's side by side of Gibbons and Simmons and the comp and compensated. Oh, it's contact there and riding up on top is the number 62. And uh, that's Henry Jocelyn. So Henry Jocelyn, who comes through the field brilliantly, has unfortunately had contact there. I think it was with Mitchell Gibbons. I don't think any of the particular driver was at fault. It was just a, a race incident. But here we have a look at it. Simmons and Gibbons fighting hard there. Yeah, Jocelyn just clips the rear left of, uh, of the E-plated Mitchell Gibbons and unfortunately spins out. So that will not be a good result for him in this one. One minute to go. Uh, what all the packs cause is Jaden Gregg to go back to the there. He's just seen the blue and white car. More jostling the position uh, just behind him for, for about six or seven plays. But can Jaden Gregg hold on to this Can he now hunt down? Uh, I think he's Drivers will see the final lap board for this first heat of Honda Cadets the next time the cross start finish. Jamie Gregg still leads the race as who's that? It's Oscar Tewton. Oscar Tewton with the GP plate spins round. Uh, he might have been encouraged into that. We'll have a look on a replay, but that's not good news for Tewton at all. I think Buzzikov's been involved as well. Because he's fallen up all the way down the order. Yeah, it's the 43 of you and Charlie just gone into the rear of Oscar Tewton there. On the Boot. So we're on the last lap now, looking at the leaders. There is, uh, well at the moment, uh, back now, no, that's the time ago, the Western Swain's been in the top, it's having been 12 laps. And still Jamie Gregg in the lead there, in the number 34, the blue and white, coming down to the back straight now. More drivers trying to find out what they're going to do. In fact, I think we've had, we had another change of lead. Yes, I think we have. Nope, there is Jaden Gregg. Apologies. Round the final corner. A great win there for Jaden Gregg. Came through adversity. There was a lot going on in that first heat of the day, and he wins it by 0.35 of a second ahead of Mitchell Gibbons. Jay Lawrence, the number 24, in third. Connor Duncan flies through the field. Connor Duncan, the back of the 